Okay guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to shoot in 4K at 24 frames a second on the DJI Mavic Pro. Now this drone is pretty set for doing anything you want it to do when it comes to you know shooting in 720 all the way up to 4K. I can show you how to do this by looking at the red icon on the far right of the DJI Go app. Right below it you'll see a settings tab. Now you can shoot in auto or manual exposure here, but where we're going to focus is in the top tab here, the middle tab, the photography icon. We're going to click on video size, and we can choose from, like I said, 720 all the way up to 4K. 1080 is kind of the sweet spot for the slow motion 96 frames per second if you want to get that smooth gimbal look. Uh, that's a great high definition shot, but for purposes of the video, I'm going to shoot in 4K at 24 frames a second. I'm going to come back out after I've selected that video size. Now there's a whole... Um, you know, a whole other group of things that you can choose from right here. I just stick to the basic settings, shoot in MOV, NTSC, auto white balance, and for my style of color, I shoot in soft. So uh, that's going to vary per user, of course. Now I'm going to come back out. I'm at 4K, 24 frames a second. I've got 7 minutes of flight time, 30 minutes of battery, or 30 minutes of uh, film time left. I can click the red icon, and it's going to adjust. We're going to hear a ding. That means we are now recording in 4K at 24 frames a second. Obviously, we can move the gimbal around. I'm not doing anything too smooth right now. Just showing you that it is working, it is filming. And I'm going to click end. That way, we just have a simple 10 second shot. I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to show you how to import that footage into Final Cut properly and then export it from Final Cut and upload it to YouTube. All right, so first things first, you have to open up Final Cut Pro on your iMac. I have the paid version, but if you're doing this as a test run, you can actually go to the Apple website and download the free trial version of Final Cut. Uh, you'll have 30 days access to it, and then it'll ask you if you want to purchase the actual app itself and start using it for your film editing in the future. I highly recommend it. A lot of folks go the Adobe Premiere Pro way. There's a great business or actual student solution for that. Um, but let's dive into what we came here for today. I have some 4K footage here on my Final Cut Pro timeline. It's some beautiful snow footage that I took. You may have seen it uh, on the channel. I just recently uploaded this footage. Uh, so go ahead and take a look. You can see how flawless it is. I'm going to show you how to import this footage. So first things first, you're going to want to actually go to a new project. So I'm going to click New Project. I'm just going to put Drone 4K. You can title it what you want. Give it a project name. And then this is where it's really important you pay attention to the details. So here it says video. There's a couple of different formats. We're going to click on 4K. The resolution is always 3840 by 2160. And the frame rate. This is so important, the frame rate. You're going to see a lot of videos that say, hey, 30 frames a second is really what YouTube expects. But you have to import the footage at the same exact frame rate that you shot your footage at. So in this case, we shot 4K footage on the drone at 24 frames per second. Apple ProRes is fine, audio is great. We're gonna click OK. And now you'll see down here that the actual timeline itself is empty. We've created the new project, we've set those parameters. Uh, now we're gonna import our footage. So Apple I for importing footage. Uh, I've got my folder here, it says video 4K, and this is the test footage that we took earlier. I'm gonna click import all. It'll fall into my actual timeline here once I grab it. Okay, so the footage is imported. You'll see these little black bars and people think, well, maybe he's trying to be cin cinematic. Maybe there's a letterbox he's adding. I prefer adding the letterbox. You'll see a lot of footage on YouTube that doesn't have the letterbox effect, doesn't have that cinematic look. I highly recommend just sticking to the footage you use. Don't try to stretch it because it just won't stick true to its quality. I always add letterbox and you can find that down here in the actual installed effects. So. I go down, I click search, I go letterbox, my letterbox comes up, I can drag. Then on the top right in the inspector, I actually can adjust the border size accordingly. So I go full size on the border for the letterbox. And as you can see, once again, these little dots right here, that means that it is rendering the footage correctly right now. Now that the footage has rendered, we've added our letterbox. Once again, you don't have to, but I do it because I like the cinematic look. We go up to file here and we click share. And there's a couple of different ways you'll see on YouTube. A lot of folks, you know, say, hey, there's different ways to do it. But when you're doing 4K footage, just click Apple Devices, 4K. Okay, you can click on Settings. And I just do it straight to the computer. I do H.264. I have the resolution set. 
open with QuickTime Player. You can also click this and click do nothing so it doesn't open the QuickTime Player when you're done. You'll see the size, you'll see where it's at, Every, all the information, the critical data is here. You'll click next. I'm just going to name it Drone 4K, save it to my desktop. Once again, it will take time to export. You'll then log into your YouTube account. In the top right hand corner, you'll see where it says upload. Select public, private, or whatever type of video you want to put it under. Select the file. Let it upload normally. YouTube takes a while to recognize the 4K footage. You can click done, it'll process. It may even say it's still in 360p, but give it some time because it will take time to render that 4K footage. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate the feedback. If there's anything cool that you know about the DJI Mavic Pro drone that I don't, please put it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, hey, if you think this can help somebody else out, share it with them as well. Talk to you soon.